be at this place. <laughs> it's been my pearl of great price. Um, I'd like to let you guys know what to expect. Um, first of all, not a really long time on your Saturday morning, um, but um, you can expect um, you're going to have just a background. You know, I'll let you guys know how um, this got started, a little bit of the process, um, some of the ups and downs of it, the tears and the joys. Come on in. Oh, oh, this is Pastor Willie. Yes. <laughs> no, it's so, so nice to have you. Well, thank you. You should be throwing me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was just about to say where, where you fit in the lineup, okay. I guess, of the of the order of events. Um, do you have a seat? Do you have a seat? Do you have a seat? Um, I'll say it. Do you have any echo chairs out there? Okay. So this is this is Pastor Willie. When, when when we first started and first did our brainstorming sessions, um, I I really wanted as a part of the brainstorming team to have uh, a spiritual um, input and to have somebody who's been established in the community. So I've called around different places looking for recommendations, and um, he was he was recommended. Never made it to a, a brainstorming session, but I think you're had a heart of prayer for this project. Yes, and I, like I said again, I feel, feel really bad because I didn't get on Monday. Mm -hmm. anyway. Well, you're here, and um, I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is, I think, um, just before we reveal, I'm going to ask you to say, <coughs> say a prayer of blessing. All right? So you can sit there. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm from the family of Yoders. <laughs> Use every moment possible. <laughs> <laughs> if we come to things early, that means that all those moments up until then were wasted. <laughs> and I'm kind of serious about that. That is a little hard with my life. <laughs> anyway, so welcome. Welcome, everyone. A lot, most of the people I see here have been actively involved in this process. Um, and just, just to let you know what, what this um, ceremony is going to be, it's going to be some backgrounds and some, some stories. Um, I'm going to call, at some point, I'm going to call uh, Juliana Seely up and a special surprise, unexpected even for me, guest. Um, and um, we will, I will also have a time of giving uh, some gifts to you, opportunities for you to give as well. Um, and of course, I'm going to do all that before the sheet comes down so you can just stare at the <laughs> underside of the sheet for a while in anticipation. Okay. Um, so this, this mural began with um, me walking into the town hall one day and greeted by, uh, <laughs> by Janet. Uh, so if you just say a little bit of what was in your mind with that. Sure. Uh, Carolyn and I had visited the Belton Town Hall a few days before and they had a mural on their wall in town hall. We were like, Queen, Queen can do that. So <laughs> she just happened to walk in and I was like, Queen, can you like paint us a really beautiful mural on the wall of Greenwood, and she came in, and she looked, and she took it, and she ran with it. Yes. And well, she did amazing. So I will say, when I heard you say, <laughs> can you paint a picture, I, I knew, like, I counted the cost, actually, in that moment. So I, I knew something like this is, it's very costly to be able to, um, to see something from start to finish. I'm somebody who loves to start things, and, like, I have thousand and one ideas but I knew that it would be very difficult to finish something like this and um, I was pondering whether or not to say yes to her and I walked into the library and when I walked into the library there was a sign there that said all together now and so I um, I was like this this is it if I can somehow do this mural in a way that builds community that brings in a lot of different people I will, um, I'll be able to actually finish it. Because <laughs> I'll have the whole community holding me accountable and I'll have help from everyone. Um, so it came into my head to do it as a um, paint by number. Because I was like, this, this will be easy. This, you know, just, this will be super easy. I'll just, you know, dole out the, the um, pieces to everybody and uh, I'll basically have other people painting for me and uh, it'll come together snip, snap, snur. Well, it's never, it's never that easy. Um, we ended up deciding on 
uh, a pixelized process. And so somebody named Sally Ann, she drew a whole bunch of squares. That's my phone, the one that didn't silence the phone. <laughs> So Sally Ann, she came through and we, we decided to do it eight by eight. Obviously there's like a frame around it that's a little less than that. And each of these pieces, two foot by two foot, everything in this mural represents something. I'm gonna give you a, a chance at the end after it's revealed to ask me questions um, to help get into the meaning of it a little more. But um, our community, we, um, we're very, very different. We have a lot of different groups. We have the Mennonite, we have the Methodists, we have the bank. And let me tell you, the bank personality and my personality, very, very different. <laughs> um, we have small businesses, bigger businesses, uh, just so many different kinds of people. And how, like, how can we come together and, um, and do life together well? And there is sometimes, there's friction, there's, there's differences, there's uh, different viewpoints. Um, so my heart in this was to find a way to represent where there's, there's disjointedness. You, you can see the seams actually in this mural, but that we still come together in a cohesive way and we form a, a bigger picture. So, so what it is, is uh, it's pixelated, which you can see in the bottom. Each individual square represents one individual in the community, like a, one person. But then it's also uh, 16 larger squares and that for me is more about those different groups and how we also need to come together. Um, at one point yesterday, I had my nephew here and he was like with caulk, like caulking the, the seams of the, of the different uh, squares together. So um, that's definitely our, our youth doing that. Um, anyway, so you'll see once, once we have it out, um, it's a very, yeah, very symbolic picture. Juliana, I want you to come uh, soon and, and talk just a little bit um, from the standpoint of the small business. She's sure. been my support. She's helped paint on it. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. It's so glad to be um, here today. And thank you so much for supporting the town and Quina in this project. Um, as she said, I'm Juliana Seely. The town of Greenwood is uh, very special to me. It's my home. I'm actually one of the few people you might meet who was born and raised here. Um, Right across the railroad track on Beaver Street, I was born at home in the early 80s, <laughs> and uh, and I grew up roaming these streets, riding my bike around. Um, I even swam in the ditch. I know that sounds sketchy, but it was really fun back in the day. <laughs> so Greenwood um, gave me a great foundation. I lived here all throughout my childhood and until I went to college, and now I have come home. We moved away for a few years, and now um, I live outside of town proud mother of three children, and my husband and I, Adrian, we own and operate Sealy Homes out of Ridgeville. So we're actually uh, building a home a couple blocks over right now, and we built a couple homes right here around the corner. Um, and then I'm privileged to serve on the Woodbridge School District Board of Education. So that's been a great journey for the last few years. And uh, more than all of that, I have actually uh, been friends with this beautiful woman <laughs> since childhood. So we grew up stomping through the woods of yes. her house right outside of Greenwood and had so much fun with the Yoder family, tons of great memories there. But the thing about Queen and this project is um, she has a mind that is, like she said, it's so unlike, it's so unlike mine, so unlike so many people. She has this, this vision of life, this passion, um, the way she sees art, the way she sees life, the way she sees beauty, it's different than what most of us experience. And talking with her as she was working on this project, as she was planning it, I was I, many times I'm like, Queena, I, I don't know how you do it. Like I could not envision this. I could not put this together. Like we all have different skills and talents. And she is blessed with such an amazing artistic mind. Most of you have probably seen her work. Um, so when I was at her house a couple weeks ago and helping, because I'm I'm not really that artsy. I love art, but I'm not that talented with it. <laughs> so being at her house and hearing like when she was talking about the pixels and how she put this whole thing together, I don't know that anyone <coughs> can really appreciate the amount of time and effort and heart that went into this project from her. For her to coordinate this with 
I don't know, dozens, maybe a hundred people. So nice many. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like many people have painted on this. Yeah. So that's fantastic. Yeah. And and from the get go, when she was doing the brainstorming sessions, just like her heart to get the community involved in this project is such a beautiful thing and such a gift that you have to give to our community. So I'm, I'm so glad that Janet talked to you. She had the idea. The town had the idea. And uh, that you could get a lot of people involved with this. They had no idea I'd be so extra. And I'm like, if you know me, we thought of the clean up and brushes and that. She, she goes, she goes all in. She goes you know all in. All, it's all extra. I think it's time for me to just say a few thank yous. And maybe you could even help me pass these out. Um, so I, I need a uh, Discover Bank. Is Sherwin Williams here? Probably. Looks like they're not. Uh, Sherwin Williams. Um, Discover Bank, and um, I'm going to name some people because you were mentioning all these people that came in. Uh -huh. So we have Micah. Um, okay. What's your name? Micah. Micah. Micah Mike is one of the artists. We had, I had teenage artists. Micah. Mm -hmm. I had Ellie Welfley. I had um, uh, I had Jolene Tenafall, Sally Ann. Um, they Ryan Collins. You know Ryan Collins? Yes, absolutely. He's uh, out in my kitchen. Yes. Right so <laughs> guys, Ryan Collins is amazing and. Uh, he made the frame, he, made, he just made a lot of this happen. Um, so these are just a few people that um, I wanted to thank. So I'm going to start with Discover Bank because you guys are here. I think I can hand out some of the paper. Yeah, hand out some of the paper. Kirby, you, this is a blind piece of paper for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to do coloring pages um, and they're pretty easy and fast and fun for me so if you get me a, a photo that you guys like um, in the next six months I'm gonna make discover Becca a coloring page so all right thank you so much for the organization you guys did and oh. it was so fantastic and I have one of those for with the community um, and flyers <laughs> and also like um, just just to be able to say okay here's the schedule here's here's when we need it here's the steps to get there I so need people like librarians in my life to help me get me from one point to another point so um, I have donated this image to the town of Greenwood um, and I want you guys to have the actual physical copy um, the frame, hopefully, we'll, we'll get it reframed at a professional gallery someday when the funds come in, but here you go. This is for the Green Library.
vision for, for Greenwood is to be a place of joy and jubilation and dance. So take it away. This is, um, is it Wayne? Yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> they call me Uncle Grandpa. They call me Uncle <laughs> Grandpa. And when this is finished, I hope everybody goes to the library and enjoys his presentation at the library at 11. Do you need me to hold that? Yeah. I wasn't sure because this was at the door. Oh. <laughs> I guess, why is this at the door? I can get this out of the way. being in a camera or a video, walk outside now. <laughs> no objection? Okay, let's begin. I didn't really prepare for the space, so... You can. Oh yeah, you absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you need spaces here to make sure. Reach out, touch it real quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Want to make sure I don't kick nobody. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. You're, you're going to be out here so you can get everybody else. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's bow our heads and thank you for your time. Most gracious and gentle Father, we thank you and praise you for this opportunity to come out and to be a part. <clears throat> and Father, we mostly, as we're sitting and listening, we, we mostly pray for uh, Miss Queen because she has a heart, shows that she has a heart for bringing the community together. And that is something we know that you can do. So we ask many blessings for her, her family, this mural that's been put together, that it will cause a coming together of this community. And we thank you, Father, for all that will happen here in Greenwood. Yes. In Jesus' name we ask and pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Without further ado, Mayor, would you uh, reveal? This is the last. Oh, that's why the last. That's why the last is here. And what is this last? Torbert. Mayor Torbert. This is our Mayor, Mayor Torbert.
teenagers at Woodbridge did that one. Um, and then we just made it cohesive and, and pulled it together, but the bulk of that was uh, the teenagers at, at Woodbridge High School. So, and my kids did this one. missing home. 